and we used to go down and arm with sort of worms and so forth and we used to get onto a shoulder brim and we'd fill a sugar bag in about half an hour and what we could, couldn't eat we used to let go of it. Therefore we weren't greedy and we, but you could catch all the fish you wanted. Mackers are just a great fish, but they're also something the community really identifies with and they're one of our many species that have declined substantially. So now we've only got a few small fragmented populations and we really need to look after them and try and restore them. Hollands Creek has high ecological significance with the presence of uh, uh, Macquarie perch. There had also been a history of involvement of the community uh, in works programs, fencing, revegetation, and we felt it was a great opportunity to build on the historic works and to further maintain and enhance the overall health of the system. Uh, this is a natural rock formation here on the Holmes Creek, um, and, and these are very important uh, for the Macquarie perch and their, their native fish uh, migration. It's very much about protecting the endangered species of the Macquarie perch. There's been a real emphasis around the riparian works uh, linked to sort of the enhancement and protection of the habitat within the reach. With the community, the, the, the engagement is really important to, to, to give them some ownership of the project. My great grandparents came here in around about 1900 and so we've had a very long association with this particular farming area and also to the Hollands Creek. Here the Macquarie perch are a very integral part of the ecosystem and to keep um, them a viable population here we've done a number of things. This is part of the re-snagging program here on the Holland, creating a fantastic habitat for the native fish. The entire creek has been now fenced to keep stock off and to stop other sorts of issues like water turbidity and the creek has also been weeded. Yeah, well it's certainly been uh, a privilege to be able to live along the river here and when our kids were growing up they had many enjoyable days down at the river playing. We've had fencing done to keep stock out of the river. Approximately uh, half a kilometre of fence on our property. Uh, this is all, it's all been very successful. Uh, it's been very uh, productive in uh, bringing awareness to what's the creek has to offer and uh, the problems that the creek has had. There's a whole range of monitoring being undertaken by the Arthur Ryler Institute and so there's habitat measurements and a whole lot of fish surveys um, that include netting and electrofishing, backpack electrofishing. And it had been quite disheartening because one year I think we only got four mackers and then a couple of seasons ago they were backpacking in this creek and suddenly there were just little Macquarie perch everywhere. Yeah. It was so exciting. The good news story of that and the great excitement was you know just the large numbers of these little guys everywhere and it's often the little guys we're really after because that uh, shows recruitment or spawning and recruitment and then they grow through the population and the population can expand. So what we're trying to do is to take it back to as, as much of a pristine environment as possible. So the recruitment in this particular stretch has been quite uh, successful, um, but not to rest on laurels. We intend to just keep on keeping on with our native fish. And the Demonstration Reach project is a very, very important part of this whole farming uh, operation. <laughs>